This is one of the best tie or not one of the best. This is my favorite tie ever. This is the best one out there. <laughs> Hey guys, Slasher Pepper. I'm sorry that I look like a uh, SoundCloud rapper right now with this. But yeah, my hair looks like shit today. So, uh, yeah, I just got home from being to Paris. So, uh, I didn't really bother to do my hair now because I also had to work early. And I got home late. So, that's why. Anyway, I um, did manage to read this amazing book in the last couple days. I was invested in the story from prologue to epilogue. The prologue was really mysterious, uh, you have no idea what you're into, uh, you have no idea who the characters are except for Freddy Krueger and like some mother and dad, but the whole mysterious kind of vibe uh, just immediately got me hooked. It's really good, it's almost like Dream Child, you could sort of say that, I guess, but uh, the rest of the book is really good, and I mean, the prologue, uh, you know, it's... It is kind of like the dream child, but done better. And we'll probably talk about the dream child more in my next review for the next book, which I'll uh, be, uh, which I'm reading right now. Actually, this book is still Dark Freddy territory. You have a Freddy that has jokes and is still dark, and not too much, not too dark. It's not. He's not way too much like a pedophile, and you actually get to read some of it, uh, like what he does to the children. That doesn't really happen, which did happen in Suffer the Children, which is the first book which I reviewed. You can click on a card here or there, I don't know. <laughs> I never know. But yeah, as I said, the Freddy is really well balanced, as all things should be. As all things, things should be. I, I, it's just impossible since Infinity War to say a perfectly balanced as all things should be without... Just thinking about that, it's insane. So let get, let's get to the characters, which are definitely the best part of this book. Uh, you got Jane, she's the main character. I really liked her. She's kind of a loser, but uh, I liked her. She's uh, likable. Uh, her, her character is really fleshed out throughout this book. There's a lot of character development to her, which I really enjoy to see. I mean, in tie-ins or slasher movies or slasher tie-ins, you never really get to see a lot of character development. I mean, so, I mean, yeah, Suffer the Children, they great characters, but um, it was just kind of basic, you know. You had the black guy, you had the nerdy guy, you had the you had the stuck up bitch, you know, all of those kind of characters, you know, just your typical slasher characters. But these characters are really original, actually. Lola is an even better character. I mean, she's better than Jane, actually, which was the main character. So, once we get to Lola, that's actually when the best stuff, ha stuff happens. The main reason why I like her so much is because she actually is really into horror as well. I mean, look at that. Look at The Shining. Got a Shining post over there. I mean, I love horror myself too, as you all know. Um, so, that's why I really liked her. She wants to be a makeup effects artist in horror movies. Um... And I actually really like that. Uh, I mean, I have a dream to be in to work on movies as well. And um, yeah, I mean, she was just bound to be liked by me. <laughs> it was like that character was made for me. She was like, she also has like this van which is full of junk from horror stuff, which I really liked. I actually really wanted to be in that van. Um, so yeah, I I actually want to be friends with Lola, but uh, she's a fictional character, unfortunately. <laughs> And then, a little later on in the book, we get to the boyfriend of Jane. Or at least, he's not immediately the boyfriend of Jane, but uh, he actually becomes the boyfriend of Jane, it, which was Brandon. He was likable too, he was kind of this uh, tall, muscular guy, athletic guy. Kind of like me. No? Okay, guess not then. Uh, but yeah, he was really likable too, and you know, we have a few more characters here and there throughout the book that are just a little less important for this review, so I'll just skip those. I'll leave it at these three. The story was really interesting. I really, 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 really dig the first 200 pages. Uh, though, and warning, if you want to read this book, 
no no spoilers don't click away um, but um, in the first 200 pages we don't get Freddy but that's what I love about this book uh, this book takes it time to develop the characters and actually later on in the book after 200 pages I was actually really sad to see some of these characters go it, it was extremely hard for me like especially some some of the main characters is really sad I mean sort of spoilers I guess but I mean that's just how it goes right <laughs> you know some of these characters are gonna die and yes I would have liked to have seen Freddy a little earlier on in the book but uh I mean I still freaking love this book I mean it's my favorite time it's better than all of these Indiana Jones books and these Jason X books and and these Darkman books which I actually really loved as well once Freddy starts showing up it gets even better or does it because some of the main characters have to die. I mean, that's how it goes with slasher books, but uh, and slasher movies and any sort of storytelling uh, slasher style. But um, with this book, it was just so sad to see some of these characters go because you really got invested into these characters and actually really loved them. The ending for this book, it's. I mean, I I liked it. I guess I digged it, uh, but if I wrote the book myself I would have probably done a different ending uh, because it was like the same as the first ending, just a little different uh, a different take on that, a different spin on that, you just could say that uh, so I I wish it was something different because I just finished Suffer the Children but I guess it, it if I read this one first the ending would have been fine with me actually so um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite tie-in book. I really dig it. There's also some movie references. Yeah, I really recommend this one. And I'd recommend this one as well. I mean, this was great too. Any Freddy Krueger fan should read these. These are just amazing. And I definitely can't wait to finish the third one and review that one for you guys. But for now, we finish these two. And, uh... Really, I don't have anything else to say except thank you so much for watching, taking the time to re watch my review on A Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Spawn. Once I get to finish all these books, I'll do a ranking video on all the books, and then I'll do a mashup and review those as well, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. See ya. Ah!